Yeah, so I definitely would consider it to be a, a contending event. I, you know, at a certain point, swimming is swimming, training is training, and there shouldn't be too much isolation between this is going to be a tuna free day or whatever, whatever. If you're getting up and racing every day in practice, I mean, you'll see results, I think, in a lot of events. Um, so, yeah, we definitely, we definitely, I, I like to refer to it as we got tools in the toolbox. That's what Troy likes to use, so I'll use that instead of, instead of stock here. But um, we got some tools in the toolbox, some new tools from tonight we can add in and just keep growing the toolbox. At the Mission Pro Swim, Caleb Dressel turned heads, winning the 200 free at a great time. A sign he's taking the event seriously. You know Dressel's his own worst critic, which is why we love him. Listen to him recap the season so far. It's a very slow, steady process. I mean, shoot, San Antonio was, was pretty embarrassing for me, um, but I wasn't worried about anything. That's just where we were at. And then we went to a meet in St. Pete and I was faster there. And then I just had a fly swim that was the second faster in St. Pete. So that was two weeks ago we had that meet. So in four weeks, I'll be like 47, it'll be perfect. We'll just stick with, we'll stick with how the math has been going so far. Uh, but no, I mean, you just gotta trust the process along the way. My body's still tired, but it's, it's coming around every single, every single week. And then by trials, we'll be, we'll be ready to go. And I'm confident in Troy's coaching ability. I'm doing this a while. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just a good listener. Um, so we'll, we'll be in a great spot. Did you catch that? He said he was embarrassed. Can Caleb Dressel really be embarrassed? I don't, I don't know if I want to use the word embarrassed. Oh, slow. Oh, slow. Okay, okay that's why. But not embarrassed because I was, that's just where we were in that spot. And then that gave Troy great information. So I wasn't embarrassed. Yeah. I should have been, but I wasn't because we were in a good spot. Dressel's feeling the Olympic pressure. He's mindful of it, but he knows he's flesh and bone. He doesn't have to be a star at every meet. That, I swear that's word for word of something I've had to learn and what Troy has told me. Yeah. Um, he says, you don't have to be Caleb every meet. Uh, and I get that. I mean, there is guys that go faster than me. I mean, shoot, almost got out touched in 100 fly. And that's where people get caught up because everyone else in the lane, yeah, it's completely irrelevant to a certain point. Of course, I want to get my hand on the wall first, but I don't know what they're doing. It's relevant at the end of the year. Um, but right now, I don't know what everyone else is doing. I don't know what meets they're tapering for. I know what I did, what I'm capable of, and that's why I was happy with tonight. That's why I was happy with San Antonio. I didn't win. That doesn't yeah. mean I can't be happy with my swim and know that I'm in a good spot. So, I mean, you're absolutely right. Uh, the other guys, I don't know what they're doing. It doesn't matter. It's completely irrelevant. The heat sheet only shows how old you are, what team you represent, your name, and so on and so forth. There's no, there's no excuse column. It doesn't show how rested one person is or the other. So it's just about getting up and racing this meet. So if someone is more rested than me and I get my hand on the wall before them, so be it. If I had a good race, I'll be happy with it. The other guys don't matter. Obviously he struggled with this. The idea that he doesn't have to be the Caleb Dressel at every meet. I've definitely had to learn it because it would, it would mess with me a little bit because you come off a really good meet or something and then you get worked in some event or you lose a hunter fly or you don't even make the A final in 100 free. I mean, I've been, I've been all over the place. I've been absolutely all over the place. So I've, I've learned and I'm at the point now to where I, I fully realize it doesn't matter. I'm um, slower than some people in season and that's totally okay. You know, the only thing that matters is end of season in March and April are completely irrelevant. I mean, June, July, that's when we can start talking. But right now, it's just about getting info and moving on from that. And that's the most important thing. If you have a meet and you're just upset and pissy and you didn't have a good swim, but you don't learn anything, that's a complete throwaway. That's a failure. If you have a bad swim and you learn something from it, then it's not a bad swim anymore. It just, it's all dependent on, are you and your coach communicating? How can we get better? Are you giving your coach good information? If you raise 100% and it's bad, great. Now you have such good information moving forward. If you're just gonna be a big titty baby and not put 100% effort in, your coach is not getting good info at that point. And then now you have no nowhere to go, no direction. Caleb Dressel, US Olympic Trials Prediction version two. Yep, plan again. Playing the prediction game with Dressel because I was way too safe last time. Last time, 50 free, 21.3. 100 free, 47.2. 100 fly, 49.9. 200 free, prelims only. 145.9. My new predictions after seeing his pro swim races and being heckled by swim time commenters for being a wimp. 50 free, 21.1. 100 free, 47.1. 100 fly, 49.7. 200 free, prelims only, 145.2. But who cares what I think? It's all about what you think. Bring me your best expert swimming analysis. I love Ryan, but I hate the guy in practice. I mean, it's it is it's interesting. There's I've had there's had three teammates who offer that to me. Ryan, certainly one of them, and then Mark and Jan in college. And then I, I, mean, I don't like losing anyone, but there's there's some people where it's like even in warm up, if he's trying to inch, I'm like I'm not gonna let you touch first. I don't know why that is. I think it's just the energy Ryan puts off. So yeah, 
It is interesting. I mean, I'll ask him what stroke he's going, and then just to get a race in, I'll go whatever stroke he's going, or he'll ask me, you know, if it's it's a, a suit upset or whatever, you know, what are you going on this hundred, what stroke, and we go with each other a lot. Racing is racing. There's nothing that can reciprocate that better than getting up and swimming the same stroke as someone. Um, so Ryan certainly offers that. Um, he, he definitely brings a lot to the group. I'm super glad he is in the group, but we love having him. He keeps things light, but I mean, he's hard to beat. He's really hard to beat in practice. When he goes, he goes, especially the IM stuff. I don't think I've ever seen anyone beat him in any like long IM stuff in practice. So he's still got it, man. He's 36. So I'm not really buying the whole old man thing anymore. He knows how to get up and boogie.